Namaste everyone. The light in me brings the light in you. Welcome to yoga for outdoors or indoors. Any place that you really can't access the floor or the ground. All of these poses give us options to stay tall, open our hearts, open our minds, and breathe. And stretch and strengthen as well. Good for all of you before your heavy duty exercise, afterwards, and of course all yoga students of all levels. Let's begin in mountain pose, always remembering to stand tall. Extending the spine on our inhalations and exhalations. Adding motion, breathing in, stretching up. As we exhale, low squat, bend your knees, breath out, breathing in, breathing out, be sure to sit back, breathing in, and breathing out, this one, breathing in, lift your heart, face, watch prayer pose come together overhead. Slow exhale, prayer pose to heart. Center for a moment. Set your intention, focus on your breathing. Bring body and mind awareness together. Slow breath in through the nose. Fingers forward, extended prayer, exhale, sit back. Lift it up, breathing in. Exhale, arms down. And behind us, fingertips are wide to support the lower back. Hips forward, knees forward, lift your heart and face. Supported back bend, breathing in. Stay for the exhale. The inhale. And as you exhale, sit back, round the arms, hold the earth on your left. Breath in through the nose. Press the palms out, exhale. Rising up, breathing in. Exhale, arms down. Back plus, deeper back bend. Open the shoulders, lift the heart, lift the face. Breathing in. Exhale down to a 90 degree angle, your halfway lift. If you can, lift the arms a little higher, the clasp a little higher. Exhale, fuller forward bend, tuck the chin, bend the knees as much as you need. Inhale here, exhale here. Bend the knees, come up carefully. Mountain pose, inhale up. Exhale, prayer pose, heart. Some side bends, hands lightly on the shoulder tops. Inhale, exhale, one elbow up, one elbow down. Stay for a breath in, and then exhale. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, side bend. Stay for the inhale. And the exhale. Breath in. Arms down. Full side bends. Right elbow rising. Full extension to the sky. Breath in. Exhale over the ear. Feel this hip stretch. Feel this hip contract. Breathe in. Then an inhale. Help you lift the arm. Exhale, land it. Opposite side, lifting. Breathing in, full extension. Exhale over the ear. Inhale the arm up and exhale it down. Adding on to that side then. First side, up, breath in. Exhale over the ear. Look down at your opening palm, extend that arm, grab the sun, inhale and raise it slowly. 
exhale, set it. Set the sun or the moon, your choice. Breathe in to lift it again. Center of the sky. Exhale, arms down. Roll the shoulders. Opposite side. Left elbow up, full extension, breathing in. And over the ear. Look down at your opening palm, extend the arm laterally, grab the sun, and inhale, slowly lift it. Exhale, set it. Breathe in, use your core strength to lift the sun. Let it go. Exhale, prayer comes heart. Let that work settle in for a moment as you breathe. And on an exhale, chair pose. Let's step this chair pose a little wider at first. A wide chair pose. Prayer pose to heart. Not chin, heart. Same elbow to same thigh. Just tilt your prayer pose. One elbow down, one elbow up. Inhale slowly back to center. And exhale, side bend. Side prayer, prayer tilt. Slow inhale back to center. Let's add on. Side tilt to your right, exhale, extend, sweep the sky on a breath in, and exhale, find the other side. Extend, full breath in, breathe out as you come down to the opposite tilt. Extend, breathe in, over and full. Last one, out. Breathing in, over and fold. Back to center. Come on up. Bring feet together for a little more intense chair pose with a twist. Out, hips back. Prayer pose. This time, right elbow comes over to the left thigh, even past it. We're revolving this prayer pose rather than tilting. One elbow up, one elbow down. Lower arm races against the lower leg. Upper arm flies like a wing. We're breathing. And coming back slowly to center chair pose. Inhale, you've got to exhale to get into this revolved prayer pose. Breath out. You can stay here or brace the lower leg, open the wing. Breathing. It's like flying sideways. Refold. Back to center. Reach for the elbows, create your head cradle, forward bend. We still haven't touched the ground or the floor yet. In your forward bends, you can pedal this out as well, bending one knee, stretching back the opposite hip. Bend the knee, straighten the knee. Inhale to your halfway lift. Remember the back is flat and halfway lift. This is not halfway lift. This is halfway lift. Bend the knees, take the arms out, and we're circling up. And exhaling prayer pose to heart. Let's step back in that wide pose one more time. The wide chair pose, extending. Going up on one set of toes and lowering the heel. Opposite. Lower the heel. Both. Lower. 
and lower the heels. Bring prayer pose to the heart. For some people, this is their malasana, this is their garland pose, their deep squat. Keep the heart up, the face up. Those of us who practice Kumalasana, sink down, press the outer arms to the inner leg creases. Now, extended prayer pose, arms out to the side. Use your leg strength and lift. All the way up to standing stars. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Pop the hands in the stars. Stretch fingers, thumbs, and then bend every joint and every finger, both thumbs. Drop the hands, wrist rotations in one direction. And reverse. And relax into a little wider star. Looking up at your right hand, lift from the left foot. Breathe into your diagonal stretch. Stay for the exhale. Reach on your inhale. And exhale back down. Just the heel. Looking left, lifting right, breathing in. Stay for the exhale. Stretch a little more on your inhale, and come back down. Half stars, palms up. Muscle arm, our muscles are winding a little right now. Slow breath in. Feet stay flat as you reach to the right. Hands out. Inhale back. Stretch to the left. Feet stay flat. Someone's guiding your wrist. Inhale back. Hang in there. Thumbs down. Palms behind us. Breath in. Exhale. Long upper body stretch. Stretch through the fingertips. Inhale back. Exhale. Stretch. Inhale back, arms down. Stay in your wide stance. A few shoulder rolls, a few circles using the nose. Draw a circle in front of our face. Always careful not to let the head fall back. And in your wide stance, up here, pivot to your right lunge. Extend the arms forward on your exhale, ears between the arms, inhale, press up to warrior one, exhale, relax the shoulders a little more. In fact, you come down to cactus pose. Shoulders back, shoulder blades in, breathing. Exhale, right over left. You can do a shoulder bug for your full eagle pose. Shoulder hug bow or eagle pose bow. Breathing out and breathing back in to lift. And unravel up to one. Lower body stays where it is. Upper body turns to your left. Warrior two. Front knee is bent, back leg is still long and strong. Breath in. Side angle pose, forearm to left, back arm, back arm up and over. Still not touching the floor or the ground. Inhale up. Reverse warrior. Exhale to get there. Inhale while we're here. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in. And back to two. Straighten your front knee. Reach out and over. Stay lateral with me. Hand finds the leg. Ankle, calf. Or big toe hold. Breathe and triangle. Both legs are straight. Hips are in line with the knees. 
We bend the knee. Slowly come back up to two. One more reverse warrior. Deep breath in. And exhale to start. Head cradle. Bend the knees. Forward bend. Wide leg forward bend. You can bend one knee, stretch the opposite leg. Kind of lunging from side to side. When you're ready, we're coming back up to standing star. Pivot to your left. Find your lunge and your warrior one. Cactus pose. Elbows back, breath in, stretch the sternum, and exhale, shoulder hug, or eagle pose. Breath in tall, exhale, shoulder bow, or eagle bow. Breath in, breath out. Press into the front foot, use core strength to lift yourself back up. Unravel, up, and the upper body opens to the right on your exhale, warrior two, head turns, hips are lateral, breathing, and your next exhalation, forearm to left, back arm up and over, side angle pose, it's really a half side angle pose. We're not needing to touch the floor or the ground. Breathing here. Arm comes up on your inhale. And exhale it down. And inhale up to reverse warrior. Front knee stays bent, back leg stays long and strong. Breathing here. And back out to two. The front knee straightens. Stabilize the back hip. Stay sideways as we come down. Bracing the back of the hand and the inner leg. Or sliding it down the ankle. Keeping hips in line with knees and feet. Both legs should be straight if you can. And we're breathing. Bend the front knee. Bring the high arm down, come up to warrior one. Pivot to center, come on back down. You can heel toe your feet back together or jump them. And for those of you who are craving your vinyasa, your downward facing dog, upward facing dogs, chaturanga bandhasanas, if you're outdoors, fine, whether indoors or outdoors, find it. A stable counter, a wall, something that's a little higher than this usually helps too. A railing that's very stable. Step about two or three feet away from it and exhale as you stretch out into downward facing dog with the hips, stretch the spine. Ears between the arms. You can pedal this out a little bit. Be sure to pedal slowly, giving each side a chance to expand and open. You're really not gripping. Pressing maybe, resting maybe. On your inhalation, bring yourself into bent elbows and roll up into bent elbow cobra all the way up and upward facing dog. Exhale, extend back to downward facing dog. Breathing in, coming into bent elbows in by the ribs. Open up, shoulders back, heart forward, breathing in. And you're up on those toes too. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Here you might even lift the toes and rock back on the heels a little bit. Forward, move, and up. Cobra or upward facing. Deep breath. 
Exhale, release to downward facing dog. Here you can also practice three-legged dog. If you've got your balance, practice your warrior three. Bend the knee, point it out to the side. Three-legged dog, looking under. Back to center, extend the leg. And bring the knee under, knee toward chin. Press up. Lengthen it back. And for those of you who like half moon pose, we're opening out and up. Breathing. Exhale, bring it down. Bring the knee down, the foot down. One more exhale and downward facing dog. And roll inward and upward. Bend elbow cobra, upward facing dog. Deep breath in, remember the shoulders are back. And downward facing dog. Let's try the left side on that sequence as well. Left leg rising. Make sure you're centered. See how it feels. To focus and release into warrior three. Hands down. Bend the knee. Point it out to the left. Look under the left biceps. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to chin. Extend on your inhale. Shift your weight to the opposite hand, opposite foot. And open out. Half moon on this side. Bring the high arm down. Bring the knee through. Exhale. And come back to standing. One more thing, if you really like half moon, a little half moon sequence from left to right and right to left. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg out, breath in. Stay for the exhale. And inhale, open. Bring the high arm down, bring the foot back down. Shift your weight. Open out to the left, breathe in. Exhale, limbs down. And the right, breathe in. Exhale down. Left, open out, breathe in. And bring it down. To straighten out and equalize the hip joints, downward facing dog at the end. If you like, you can bring it in for one more cobra or upward facing dog. Deep breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. One up slowly. Take a little time after this standing exercise, standing sequence, maybe find a seat for 10 minutes or five minutes of seated meditation. Find a way to keep the body still and quiet and the mind still and quiet. And let all the muscles release that you just used. Let the mind relax and clear for the day ahead. Thank you for joining us. I'm Susie Darby, registered yoga teacher at Body Edge Fitness Solutions. Namaste.